All right, I'm second, so I will start this one. Woohoo! That didn't happen in a, in a while. You ready? Did you save? I'm ready. I saved. I'm recording. Go. Excellent. 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 This is uh, how we can qualify th this debate. Can we not, my dear friend Dirk? We can. We can. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping right into the transition. Huh? Nice, nice, nice. Well, let's not forget to greet our listeners and say <laughs> hello to everyone. Good morning, good evening, good night, no, whatever it is. No, 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 well, no. I, I, I like how you're a fan of our debate. Are yes, you not? I am. If our debates would be transmitted in stadiums, I would sit in the in the audience and cheer. Well, well, actually, you say a stadium, but if you look at the total aggregated number of downloads and listens to our episode, oh, it if we the aggregated all these people, we could probably fill up the Stade de France in Paris. Yes. The biggest stadium we have. Maybe we should plan for something like that. A live debate in front of 50,000 people. Why don't you organize the following? You pay for every listener's flight to what? Paris. <laughs> I'll take care of the logistics. Uh, imagine, 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 just for a second, we are a soccer club. And okay. we play in a stadium. You mean football. Would you pay for your, your fans to show up or would you just, uh, uh, to the contrary, take every single penny they have on <laughs> on entry tickets and whatnot? Huh? What would you and do? And that's why we're not a football club. <laughs> <laughs> You're not we a football club. We're not selling merchandise yet. We, we should. We, we also should agree we whether should or not we face. call it um, British soccer or whether or not it's football, because we know that football is actually, to our US friends, more egghand. They don't need true football. But okay, fine, soccer or European <laughs> football, I guess. <laughs> European football, yes. We don't mean the pretty cool sports that our US friends watch, where people try to kill each other on a, on a, on a green field. It's, uh, it's more the, the thing where... Millionaires in short pants ran behind a ball and uh, tried to kick it into each other's goals, right? This is what we are referring are, are to. Are you a football fan? No. Let's leave this to the outro. <laughs> Not really. Although Let's the hesitation the was very telling. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, all right. We haven't really told anyone yet why we are about soccer and football right now. That's all the suspense. Yes. Not the emotion until, you know... Five minutes, five hours into the podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we have a fun debating motion today. And not to, tr and, and I promise we are actually not trying to offend anyone. So if you, dear listener, okay. are a soccer or football fan, please rest assured, we just flipped the coin. So whoever is uh, saying you're an idiot is just doing what the coin commanded. <laughs> I so love how you're defending your side. <laughs> Just in case, right? <laughs> yeah, just in case. All right, the motion today is supporting a football club is ridiculous slash idiotic. I like how you rephrase, uh, um, how you, how you, what, what is the word? Re Rephrased? Reframed? Yeah, how you, how you ignored my comment that idiotic is maybe too strong a word and made it a ridiculous <laughs> slash idiotic. Uh, which, which sounds twice as bad now. <laughs> <laughs> We could have that. Uh, there is no point to support a football club, but I guess that would have been half the fun, right? It's all about clickbait, yes. as we know. And I mean, I'm, considering I'm, the millions of dollars in advertising revenue that we get every week, that would be silly, right? To just let it on the table. True, true. And that's, Did I have my share, by the way? Because uh, we never talked about this. Your share? What share? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, I invest every single cent of this millions of dollars that we are making into the quality of this podcast. The all music right, alone. Right. The music alone. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, another million gone. <laughs> yes. So oh, wow. the flip of the coin made it so that I'm, well, supporting the motion. Uh, no, they're, uh, they're all idiots. I'm imbeciles. I'm defending the motion. You're Which is supporting a football club is ridiculous slash idiotic. Not sure which one I'm supporting, but uh, I the, the <laughs> audience will never know if I actually really think that uh, soccer fans are idiots or not. Well, I don't think they are idiots. That I can get out of the way. It's about supporting a football club, correct? Which is and not the people that Correct. are doing it. We're not judging people. Yeah, we are judging 
what are we? Of the act of supporting. Yeah. Correct. So I go first. Yes. And I'm defending the motion. Correct. Any last Which words before I, I destroy second. you? What? You're going to destroy me. Go ahead. Any last I want to see this. Any last words before I destroy you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for my turn. <laughs> Taking notes. All right. Okay, let's do this. Dirk goes first and argues for the motion. Let me get this out of the way. I do understand why people enjoy watching sports. My eldest used to play baseball. My youngest plays soccer. And in both cases, I spent hours biting my nails on the sidelines. I was screaming and cheering and I enjoyed every minute. Well, not maybe not every minute. Parents in the audience know that not every minute is enjoyable. But there are those moments where you really worked up over a very, very good game. Also... I take my kids every once in a while to an official game. So the beauty of living in Frankfurt is that there is fun stuff happening within the bike ride's distance. This is fun too. So it's entertaining. I do like to see this every once in a while. There's also the, the Soccer World Championship, which is fun to watch. What we never do and what I think is quite ridiculous though is uh, to do anything else than enjoying the occasional game. We do not own merch. We don't book a supporters pass. We do not book branded seats and so on and so forth. All the ways that soccer clubs try to to get more money out of me, we are trying to stay away from them. And the reason is simple. Professional teams don't deserve our love and loyalty. The sport, maybe. The teams, not so much. FIFA, the world's most powerful football association, is known to be corrupt to an eye-watering degree. We had tax avoiders, child abusers, and bullies in high and low position. And if that is not enough, we also had idiots playing politics with their position as a soccer celebrity, where it would have been so much better to just keep focusing on the sports and otherwise keep the mouth shut. On top of all this, it is boring like hell. The top 10 global teams stay always the same. No one in the team is actually personally known to us. So I don't know any of them other from any other place than the TV. It's basically all about making more and more money and not about the fans, which is why it is ridiculous to support a club. It's enough to just be fan of the sport. Now it's Sebastian's turn. Let's hear his argument. I'm not a fan of a football club myself, but I can see many reasons why one could be, in, in all honesty. And I've listed, I think, about eight or nine reasons. One uh, example of that is that I think it can inspire you to play football yourself. I'm not saying it will, but in some instances it could. Another reason could be, hey, you want to understand the dynamics of a team. So you're going to get to know the players, the coach, and how they work and have a specific style. You may want to go through moments of suspense and cheering, indeed, and it could bring a sense of purpose to your life. Uh, there could be, as I mentioned, specific tactics, a, spe a specific coach that may be uh, coaching that team and you want to follow that coach. It could be specific stars, star players which uh, who are inspiring you. Whatever the reason, it could be even just the color of the shirt. You like the color of the shirt? Why not? This is just a reason that brings you to support that club. Or maybe it's the first match you saw with that club and therefore you're supporting that club all your life or for a few years or whatever. Or maybe it's your first match in person. Um, finally, it could be the songs. It could be the, the, the chanting. Who knows what it could be? All this to say, it's not a surprise that football is the most popular sport around the world. It unites people for all the reasons I've mentioned and maybe more. It unites them across generations, just like politics in a way. Children kind of sometimes follow where their parents uh, uh, root for. Um, fans can unite from different parts of the country or different parts of the city when they're supporting a local club. In the end, it's, it builds a sense of community about meeting the same people. And we're human beings. We need to connect with others. Even the most introvert, the most shy like me, have to have a sense of community and belonging to something. In this case, it is a football club. And there's all these reasons I mentioned that bring people together. It doesn't have to be violent. You have some violent fans, but not all not all fans are hoodigans. Uh, it's only a very small fraction. So all this to say, it's not a bad word to be a football club fan. It may sound for those like me who are not fans as something a bit obscure and a bit weird, but actually not when you come to think of it. So supporting a football club is far from being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next up, Dirk. Let's hear his rebuttal. We have rules in our debates. So you, you're you not answering when I ask the question. I have to ask it rhetorically and you will answer it maybe in the next piece. But I wonder, have you ever been in a soccer game watching on the sidelines? Oh, you, you hold up a finger. So once you've been. So you know how it is. You walk in there like uh, a hurt being channeled into the stadium. If it was a well-known club, then the ticket was ridiculously expensive. You're surrounded by half-drunk people that managed to get fully drunk in that game. I was I was four times watching games in the past five years or so. So roughly every year I go to one game somewhere close by and every single time some idiot spilled his beer over me i'm not sure how much love i have to have for one club to warrant all this i go there because i may enjoy the atmosphere that's what i said earlier but it's quite ridiculous and i have even one additional level of being ridiculous that are those people who support a club and watch their games on the tv so you're sitting on your couch and you watch the equivalent of a FIFA computer game transmission, just where people tell you, oh, the ones in the red shirts are the ones to your team and the ones in the blue shirts are the enemy. And then people go crazy over who kicked the ball into the goal and um, if the, the referee was being fair and all this. I think... If it goes beyond just enjoying the sport, it is ridiculous all in itself. Yes, you can have all the things that you mentioned as uh, inspiration. Yes, sports brings people together. Unfortunately, you said it yourself, the normal people with the drunken idiots and the hooligans, they all come together, especially in countries like the UK. You need massive police that are joining that fund then as well in order to keep everybody safe. I'm not sure if it's much of a smart decision to be running behind a club that allows all this. And then we have a discussion right now in the media, at least in Germany we do, I'm not sure how it is in other countries, whether or not the clubs that are making millions, mind you, by attracting visitors into stadiums and selling licenses to TV stations, if those clubs should pay when hooligans go crazy around the games, when fans start fighting with each other because the wrong club won, when people break things in the subways and all that. So far, this is cost that is sitting on the shoulders of the taxpayers because the clubs that make the billions, mind you, refuse to pay them and say this is a fund that the society has and those are the costs the society therefore has to put up with. All of these things are downsides of this sport and many of these things are coming from us being tied to an individual club instead of just enjoying the sports per se and valuing a beautiful uh, soccer game for itself over um, just being tied to one club or the other. Sebastian. Let's hear it. Dear, dear, you got beer spilled over you. Don't you like beer? That was an easy one. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to maybe, you're triggering me. You're, you're making me upset, angry here. Not often. Uh, but uh, you, I'm going to use my, what you may describe as my classic emotional punches, uh, since you're punching the screen in front of me right now. Um, I think this is a, a very, dangerous way of describing fans, by the way, of any sports, uh, by making it seem they all go crazy, that the guys in front of the TV or uh, in, the, in the streets would destroy uh, buildings and subways and what have you. Well, most people don't do that. Most people are perfectly civilized. It's only the small, tiny, visible fraction that do go crazy, just like in any instances, in any group of human beings, irrespective of the sport or the political party you're talking about. I think it's particularly dangerous to portray any kind of group uh, like the small fraction that is violent because this is exactly the same kind of rhetoric, and forgive me if it's a bit offending, uh, that we portray when you talk about, oh, some foreigners committed a crime, all foreigners must be criminals. Likewise, one fan commits something crazy, Therefore, all fans must be crazy, but we don't hear about the millions of fans who are perfectly civilized, as I said. It may be a herd, indeed, or a group, or a community. These are all synonyms. Indeed, you mentioned yourself. It is an atmosphere. It is about being cheerful and cheering, and it's happiness. It's what makes us human beings. We want to enjoy life. 
So it's far from being ridiculous. It's actually part of what makes us human beings. Now, we don't have to support football in itself. It could be anything else. It could be a hobby, a community of any kind. Likewise, uh, you mentioned the, the, the business aspect of it and saying, well, you don't buy merchandise. Well, I don't see what's wrong with it, if you, even if you did. But again, I would assume a lot of people don't actually buy anything, but maybe the ticket or just watch it on TV. You can be a fan watching it on TV. And it's not because you're not buying into this merchandise that, or, or whether you buy into that merchandise that makes you like them, right? You can be a fan or enjoy the sport without being like the FIFA corrupted officials. It has nothing to do with it. Otherwise, you would say citizens of Russia are all corrupt because their elected politicians are corrupt. Again, extending the uh, analogy, and you're nodding, but I'm sure this is uh, as part of a joke. Um, you don't know the sports athletes. Well, that's possible. But again, there could be different reasons what, which draws you to them. There are many other reasons, as I had been exposing. And probably most people support their local club. You may or not support your local club. Or even multiple clubs, you may support your local one where you live, your tiny village or town, and a big visible one because it has stars and you want to follow what's happening to them. And some fans probably shift allegiances uh, over time. You may support one club and then another one. That's fine. It's like having hobbies of all kinds. We all crave for some connection with something with other people. So supporting anything, in particular a football club, which is the most popular sport, let's just uh, say, say that once more, is far for being far for being idiotic. Final statements, Dirk. You misrepresent what I tried to say, or maybe I didn't say it clear enough. So let me state this in my final minute clearly. I'm not against fans of soccer. I say being a fan of a particular club is pretty idiotic, and the reason is. Most big clubs, at least, are quite corrupt places. They are designed to make as much money from their fans as possible. They are marketing machineries, first and foremost. And like sheep, we are forced into affiliating with them because then we pay so much more for things. In the end, they also kill some of the fun. The high-flying professional sports gets actually boring, or more boring and boring every year. Um, the, it's always the same clubs being more or less always in the same leagues. Um, it's, it's not that exciting anymore. And therefore, as a fan, I can do both things. I can enjoy sports. I can enjoy soccer or any other kind of organized sport. And at the same time, just say, following one particular club and um, being loyal to that is quite stupid because they don't deserve our love. Sebastian. In conclusion, let's look at numbers without giving you actual numbers because I don't have them. But I suspect, without making a wild guess, that most football clubs are very local. They're at the village and town level. They're completely unheard of by the masses. And my guess is that most people, it's a guess, most people support at least their local clubs. Most people, right? Your friends, your baker, your hairdresser is probably playing, in, are probably playing in that team, right? So it's this sense of community. Again, the small, massive, very rich clubs that we all see on TV are just a small fraction of what it is to be a football club in itself, right? This is just an extreme minority. So all in all, when you care about supporting maybe that big club and your local club, or maybe any other club, it doesn't even matter. It's for so many different reasons. You play football yourself. You want to see how others play. You want to follow how a specific player, a specific coach is adopting a specific tactic. Maybe you're more in the attacking mode or more defensive mode. So you want to see how it evolves over time. You may have all the reasons in the world or none at all. It doesn't matter. It's a sense of belonging. It's a community. You can take it, any lessons out of this, even if it's just about being happy. So supporting a football club is far from being ridiculous. Just on time. Can Perfect. you see this? Perfect. Wonderful. So what do you think? On the record, 
I it, this was a motion you suggested. Maybe you want to say why you suggested, it, but on the record, actually, you convinced me because I'm the least, I'm the last person who who tells anybody what to support and not to support. I, I do think, as you say, there are like millions of reasons to support clubs, and I personally find uh, other things more exciting than following a soccer club. But truth be told. I'm a fan of Marvel, and that's just as ridiculous as being a fan of FC well, Bayern München, well, right? So, well, it, yeah. Um, actually, initially, I did think that it was idiotic, uh, but I realized as I was preparing this uh, against side, against the motion side, which was not my intention initially, but that was the randomness of uh, flipping the coin. Uh, I realized that I had to make a distinction and try to understand. Right, that's all part of our debating, trying to understand the other side. And now I'm, I'm trying to be much more nuanced. Right? I do think supporting only, let's say, a big club with no real reason behind it, if it's not for tactics, is a little bit silly. Right? Because actually the players keep changing around, like from one season to another. It's not your local club where the baker you know, plays yeah. season one and season two and season three and season four. Right? I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest, the, dyna the, the, the dynamics of uh, the football industry at local and, and nationwide and continental level. but. I, that, that's where it stemmed from because of seeing these images or reading the news and seeing all these indeed crazy guys right? and seeing this com complete absurd debates about which club is stronger than another one when when from one year to the next or from one year to three years after it's a completely different club and there's the same coach now the same players the, the guys don't even live in that city the yeah. players they don't even the supporters don't even have never met them i found just i, I found this city now i'm trying to be more nuanced because i had to prepare this song yes and uh, <laughs> all the arguments you are just making for my side thank you for those um but i <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's a, for me the main thing is um also what what does it mean to support so i i'm with you if it's really the local club fine i do think many local clubs are actually sub divisions of the big clubs so i see my little one playing in a soccer club which is actually affiliated somehow with fc Bayern München. so yeah um the, the the bigger ones swallow the smaller ones and they organize in leagues and everything and i do think uh when you go to those local events then it's not about the clubs per se so far so much it's more about cheering your kids on or your friends or the local baker as you say um but th that's also not the place where people are that crazy about that particular club most of the time because after what they go together to drink and uh, all is good um the the fans that are totally crazy and that set on their club are the the bigger clubs it's like Man U and uh, I don't know um, I, I'm not a soccer fan so I cannot really cite a lot of uh, clubs but um, this is this is where I would find the ridiculousness but uh, I also think actually it's a very weak argument because if people want to spend their money on being a fan of a club and you can be a fan of anything and if it's a soccer club so be it a soccer club as you said this is what makes us human we are fans of things and we want to support people and we want to support fun and yeah let's then have it so you won this debate you always wanted to have that at some point i uh, i would say you for me you won but maybe our listeners still were convinced by my arguments so <laughs> go ahead and let us know on the landing page to debate.eu or to debate.net whatever you prefer Thumbs because the, no, no 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 not what you prefer it's dot eu because the european union is more than an economic entity it's also about <laughs> podcasting <laughs> and about soccer because uh we rule supreme football. the soccer world <laughs> football football european and for those football. who didn't get the reference go back to uh, your podcast app and listen to our previous debate on the european union Thank amen you. Yes, so if you think supporting a football club is ridiculous, then it's a thumbs up. If you think it's not ridiculous, then it's a thumbs down. And uh, yeah, we keep an eye on this. All right. All right. Thank you for listening and talk to you next time. Yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs>